The International Space Station will go on a few years longer. The Biden-Harris administration extended NASA's contract with the ISS through the year 2030. Xavier Walton talks to our friends at NASA and a retired astronaut about this move. This really is some exciting news for space enthusiasts around the world. But here at JSC, this extension is something that NASA and Boeing have been working on for quite some time. NASA has come a long way since it first launched the ISS in November of 1998. From the space shuttles to the space suits. We're all on one spaceship called Earth. NASA's Raphael Grau. So I've been working on it since uh, May of 1990. So you've been working on the space station before there was a space station. Exactly. The extension means six more years of scientific research you can't put a price on. Now that the White House has given us the OK to pursue 2030 will work with Congress. Space is cool again. Retired NASA astronaut Clay Anderson spent 152 days on the ISS. I was Superman every day. I woke up and I flew to breakfast and after breakfast I flew to work. And if I needed a break, I flew into the bathroom and I flew while I was going to the bathroom. That's a little too much information. But when it comes to space exploration, right now people can't get enough. And when people are talking about it and when the media is talking about it and, and when kids in school are talking about it and their parents are talking about it, that's good, right? Right. And Raphael agrees. Space has become a little bit more approachable for a whole lot more of us. There's never been a news crew up to the ISS, just saying. <laughs> well, come on up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on our way. All jokes aside, though, right now the US has no plans to send a new space station to orbit the Earth, but there are other aerospace companies working on ways to integrate space station modules with the ISS. At JSC, Xavier Walton, KHOU 11 News. Flying while using the restroom. Oh, boy.